Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. And he's probably one of, if not the best we have in the circuit. Exchange good lucks, and here we go. Joel CP will have it first at the 28. Oh, this is going to be a good one, Scott. I was excited for this when I saw this matchup on the schedule. And remember, this is out of conference game, so. This is going to be, this could hold the tiebreaker between these two players if it comes to that. I don't think it will, though, the way Mike Skim's turning his season around. So it's first and 10 at the 28. At two games going on at once. We'll do our best to make sure you miss none of the action. They'll hand it off to Henry. And Henry will get to the 30. It's going to be second and eight. Uses that run and shoot offense. Only player in the league with that playbook. Notice not a green to set in their audibles ahead of time. So Joel's having to do that on the fly in between plays here in his opening drive. See if Joel gets this run game going. He said the turning point of his season was against DVJ when he upgraded this offensive line and was able to get that monster right there, Derrick Henry, going on the ground. He said the key to his offense is he needs a balanced attack. Early in the season, he was way too pass heavy. Push it forward to the 49. Second and five at the 49. Rolling. Looking. There is Jackson. Oh. And Playmakers is way to the 15. Dragging the toes. And that's going to be a first down. Well Joel, 36 yard gain, RJ. Yeah, Joel is finding his stride. When he can mix up the run and the pass like he says he wants to, this spread offense is really hard to account for. There's that draw. And what, similar to what Skimbo said, what he loves about that draw is a lot of people like to run that cover two with those vert hooks. So when you run the draw, those zones will drop back. They won't aggressively attack the run, and it opens some things up, and it makes the, your opponent have to start blitzing some of those linebackers if they really want to commit to that draw. Second and 10 from the 15 now for Mariota. Gets away. Trying to buy some time. You see Joel unhappy with that. That's going to bring up a third and 10. Oh my. Big play here for Joel. Ooh, he's got cooked up. Third and 10. Big third down at the 15. Huge play. Gonna have to throw it away and just settle for a field goal here. Good defense by Skim, and that, that's the style of defense Skimbo will play. It's a real bend but don't break style. He doesn't want to give up big plays. He'll let you move the ball, but once you get into that red zone at the dead zone, as you like to call it, Scott, it gets extremely stingy. And it's easier to play defense down there. You no longer have to worry about the deep ball. You get a little bit more aggressive. So it takes an early 3-0 lead. 2.41 to go in Skimbo. Comes out in that hands team. Just tries to eliminate those that like to pooch kick you all game. And that'll force Joel CP to kick it, kick it deep. Let's see how the hands team does blocking here. See what they got. Nobody's getting a kick there. Let's get a game update. Well guys, we got Ghost taking on Spot Me over here. Spot Me with a big pick on Ghost, but then on the QB pressure, ball pops up. That is going to be a pick six all the way back to the crib. Ghost is going to go up 7 nothing. about three and a half minutes left here in the first. Wow, look at that. Jermaine Whitehead, so 61 overall, making plays over there, 12 cap. Anytime you get a 12 capper make a play for you, that's big. Well, I like the budget players that these guys find. I, I know at the beginning of our game, we always show the top already. three players. Come on, but if you're man. a real mutthead and, you, you know, you like the grind salary cap, the guys you're always interested about are those tank players, are those budget players that could really give you some bang for your buck on that salary. And 
Whitehead, Sam Shields is hey, another one. Stop thinking about Marquis Flowers, linebacker. McKinnon. Now, those are some of the players that they don't have a ton of strengths, but they might have one. Like Sam Shields is really, really fast. They can't play a lot of coverage, but you can get to the quarterback quickly. Yeah, a lot of people like to send those nickelback blitzes, and if all he's doing is blitzing all game from that nickel position, why not? Oh. Remember last year, Dion? Oh. <laughs> Dion no. that nickel blitz? Oh, no! Don't no, remind me. Yeah, nightmares. Second and 11. Well, starting to talk to skim a little bit, trying to get the defense amped up and motivated. Good throw, Hester. Ah. Holds on. Most importantly at the 35. Skim kind of gives Joel a look, a little smile right there. But I don't think those friendly antics that Skim pulled with Ghost earlier on the season where he's talking and being buddy, but I don't think any of that's going to fly with Joel CP. So first and 10 at the 35. Hands it to Charles. He'll work it to the 33. Joel, a big Steelers fan. Skimbo's been riding with those Pats. Loves rock that Tom Brady and Randy Moss jersey. He'll throw back. And Wentz gets free. Can't get to the first down. Tripped up at the 28. Good tackle right there by Joel. And there, there it is. You saw in the previous play that cover one robber, Scott. Not afraid to mix in that man-to-man -man coverage. Hands it off to Charles, no, and Jamal no. won't be able to get there. The defense, boys. Let's get a game oh, update. Well, guys, spot me, please, getting close to fighting for his ultimate league life. Uses McKinnon and some stick work to get himself into the end zone. Did convert the extra point. Ties it up 7-7, two and a half minutes left in the first. I appreciate it. Looking at the standings here for Skimbo. Currently tied for first. It's a three-way tie between Kiv, Skimbo, and Blocky. Skimbo fighting for that bye after starting 0-2. He's now run off four straight. For Joel, he's right there. Just trailing far behind. He could jump up to third in a tie with Skimbo if he can pull this one off. Henry. Forced out of bounds by Wilson at the 38 with 19 seconds left in the first. Goes Joel, that, that running game, just get it going. He said it, he said, in order for me to be successful, I need to be able to mix up my play calling, not be one dimensional, pass and run the ball. That might be picked off and it what is! Are you doing? Come on, man! Renfro! Big play by Michael Skimbo. Right now. And that's no right fluke. Now. Skimbo currently has the number one ranked defense and all will ultimately only letting up 14 points per game. Now Joel, who has the worst defense in all of Ultimate League, letting up 30 points per game, is going to need to find a way to step up. What a play by Renfro. Ten-time pro bowler. Had over 50 interceptions in his career. 7-7 seven, seven between goes and spot me. Goes on a move here. First and 10. Good games all the way around. Changes direction. Thought about cutting it upfield there and just throws it away. That Mariota. <laughs> all over the, the Mariota show here in Ultimate League. If you're trying to play salary cap at home and you don't have that Mariota snow beast, you're doing something wrong. Very slippery. It's Delaney. I, I talked to both of these guys right before the game. It's cool we get that kind of access to just go and interact with the players before the matches. And they said, hey, we play each other a lot. And they gave me the normal spiel. Everyone, oh, when we play online, and we split, we split. I said, when is someone just going to tell me that they beat the bag out of the guy they lab with online? Spot me snuck in a little jab. He said, I, I did go 5-0 and against him the day before Ghost won the Redskins Club <laughs> championship. Hey, you got this guy ready. Third and four. Speaking of club championship, too, both of these guys are winners of their respective favorite teams. 
He'll throw it away once again. That'll bring up a big fourth and four at the 49. Just four of eight for Mariota for goes. Bobby was just a few games away from breaking out of that AFC and the club championship. And there's Hill. That'll pick up the first down. Big fourth down conversion there by Goes. 7-7 seven, seven game. They've traded some picks. One went back for six. That's Jermaine Whitehead. Is able to pick off a tip and take it all the way back. Look at that draw. And a lot of these guys give away that draw. When you see a motion that tight end inside, they're trying to get that extra blocking up the middle on the draw play. Sometimes that, that could be a tell for when they want to run that draw play out of this gun bunch. Remember, that half that draw is the only run play in this West Coast playbook out that gun bunch. Mariota somehow fit it in that window. In between three defenders, whoever that was in the flats couldn't animate. First to ten at the 24 now. <laughs> Pressure drive thus far for goes. Bunch to the right. He might take this to the end of the quarter. Why not? I think that's what he's going to do. Yeah, troll is on the table. Talking to each other between the quarters. It's seven to seven there, and Joel CP and Skimbo knotted up at three. So start of the second quarter between Goes and Spot Me Please, tied up at seven. But Goes is on a drive here. Just up there having a good time. It's two of the nicest guys on the circuit right there and goes and spot me. Absolutely. All class right there. Clean pocket. Slides at the 21. I'll tell you though, spot me, when you think of a player that just handles himself the correct way, holds himself accountable, it's the definition of class on the circuit. I mean, you got to think about Spot Me, please. And you couldn't credit him enough for the way he handles himself. Never, never complaining, always looking to improve. Man, I have to look at Spot Me again. He's all business. I don't know if he had jeans on or some business casual, maybe some slacks. I know he's got the tennis shoes on. Ooh. Dangerous read by Ghost. Yeah, well, is that slacks? Or is that some sort of sweatpants? I think those are sweats. They look comfortable. Both of these guys rocking their the set. Spot me the Titans club champion, Ghost the Redskins club champion. And both of them have gotten custom jerseys from those organizations. Spot me got one from the Titans that he's not wearing. He's rocking the Mariota. And Ghost rocking the custom Spall jersey that the Redskins gave him. With his last name on the back. Yeah, we'll see that spot me, please. Big number 28. Custom jersey. I think he's got it framed at the house, so that's why he doesn't rock it anymore. <laughs> I don't blame him. Patriots sent me a custom RG jersey. That thing, thing's going up on the wall. That's never going to happen. <laughs> we could probably work it out. We got connections. No, no, no. I would want to earn it. Those days are gone, RG. It's over. You know what I could have been? <laughs> First to 10 at the 34. We were born way too soon. Mariota. Wide open, Zach. Let it fly. Julio. Big play right there by Spot Me, please. And we always talk about it. No one's better than throwing them open in the business. And spot me as he leads Julio right there on the big play for a big chunk. And it's hard in Madden 18, Scott. We don't see a lot of plays for big chunks like that that aren't just on vertical streak bomb. That was a deep post route. I mean, how hot is that? One, one, one. Three, three, one, one. Three, one, one. <laughs> First and ten. Yeah, that's the funny thing. The guys really don't know what game we're doing. 
You know what I mean? So, and McKinnon will get in there for the lead. All that racket is Joel CP. It's a big touchdown by Spot. The funny thing is Joel CP is up there. He's yelling whatever. Skim just turns and looks at us. Looks me right in my eyes and I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, what's going on over there? Let's go double boxes. I'm intrigued. Still three to three, but Joel has it now. Ball at the 22. Let's go full screen here, third and seven. Mariota. Oh, trying to get out of the pocket. Hit. Be careful. Oh, Skim's not happy about that. Puts his face in his arms after that. He wanted a fumble. That was a good hit on Mariota. Fortunately, he couldn't land the hit sticker of the strip. And have to settle for a field goal here on fourth and seven. 39 yarder, it's up and it's good. I so Joel takes a lead so here with 221 to go in the half. Not Skimbo Scott. I mean, we, we were used to him just in these high powered offensive games, and now he's got the number one defense in the Ultimate League. And Feels like it's constantly just six to three, six six out here. It's field goals after field goals. It's really evolved into a defensive player. How similar has Skimbo's season been to what we saw from Drini, who started off 0 and 2, and then he got on a winning streak. Yeah, that's a really good point, Scott. Very similar. The cream always rises to the top, but he's got a big test right here, trailing by three to Joel. That's what you love about the ultimate. I think we talked about that. Had that been in a, a group play or something and these guys started off 0-2, they're, they're probably out. That's the beauty of ultimate league is you get a 10-game season, a chance to correct mistakes, evolve your game, and it's the longevity of the season which is going to count and you're really going to get your best players. Gets away from the heat. He's still on his feet. Be okay, careful. careful. And that'll take us to the two-minute warning. Number 11, Carson Wentz, looking like Andre Ware. That's so scary when you're scrambling with that quarterback. You know he's liable to fumbling. But hey, it's a, it's a part of your game. You need to get, you need to incorporate that into your game. If you're playing competitive Madden and you're not using this mobility or scrambling when they give it to you, you're missing out on free yards all over the place. And I thought that was missing from Skimbo's game in the first couple games of the season. Everybody was playing coverage with him, really boxing him in. There it is. There it is. And he there wouldn't run, is. but he's going there up top is. the hill. There he's got to step. Overthrow him. No. You can't get lucky. Well, 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 well. Look at oh, that. Oh, man. <laughs> Skimbo tries to tell him you can't get lucky, and Joel just mocks him with the crying Joel. Second and 10 at the 40. Hey, we've already had a couple players become memes. Joel's gone viral before. He, he had a Madden Rage segment on Bleacher Report. It was during one of his Twitch streams. You saw him bring it up versus Adrian. You can watch these guys at home when they're just playing, climbing the ladder. It's a great way to learn, by the way. Oh, something didn't go his way, and he, like, freaked out in his room, and he spazzed it. And it was sad, funny. <laughs> Comical, all kinds of emotions in that video. But Joel's really, he's really cleaned up his act. He, he's a lot more composed. Has Hill again, and this time, he'll Can't hang get lucky on. All game. Can't get lucky all game. And now okay, Skip's talking to I Joel. Guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. Look at him. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. Uh, I guess. Uh, that's the one I thing guess. I like about bad in football. We never have to guess what's a catch. Now that makes it my way. 10 to 6. Because if it goes my way, it's still hanging on. Well, 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 well. It's still chirping, Scott. Well, well, well. well, well. How you get your two oh, they're going. Well, Who's going to be more relentless? Who's going to stop chirping first? They just brought us some barbecue sandwiches here. We can, we can take a break. Let these guys take it the rest of the way. Well, the problem yeah. is we really Let's can't. Go. We've got to call the game. But well, now you're sitting here and you smell the barbecue sandwiches next to you. You're getting hungry. Look at this pass. And that's all about the pass lead. You know, you throw a normal pass there, it's picked off, but 
you lead it to the outside toward the, the back corner and he hauls it in. Double box action. Goes down in the red zone at the one. Denied. Yeah, a lot of mechanics. So you talk about that pass lead, Scott. You, you just have to pay attention to what these players are doing. The Wait. most consistent sneak I've seen is problem will put that Bo Jackson in there under center and try to get some leverage. And this time he just hands it off to Herschel and punches it in. Good touchdown right there by Ghost. You wonder why you don't see more players that have that out of position Bo Jackson. The other thing is he's, he, he gets out of the way. You know, he's not, Rodney Hudson's, he's a big truck in front of you. You know, the Bo Jackson, he's, he's nimble, gets out of your way. And We've seen some, we go back and watch some of these highlights and we've watched that tackle Bo a couple times when he's out there blocking, you got him at tight end. And sure, he's been playing for he's, Taking out three players in one play just to be so fast, like you said, so nimble. Well, the disappointing thing about the Elite Conference is I haven't seen my man George Fant. One of the. Oh, ooh! Wow! What's going on? You you got 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 you scoop and a score! You lucky Malcolm ball. Butler! That's why you put him in the game, Belichick. Touchdown, Skippo! And it feels good to see Malcolm Butler make a play in a New England Patriots uniform. And Joel, he tried to spin, got a broken tackle animation, and then Skim comes out of nowhere and pops him. And when you get a hit stick on those quarterbacks, we've seen these guys be a little reckless with the quarterbacks, but when you finally land that big hit, I got a strip animation, they're highly liable to fumble. That was all Skim right there. I feel like we need some sound effects, some rap horn. Maybe give me a sad trombone, crickets. Nothing out of Joel CP after that scoop and score. Look at this. Tries to spin. Ooh, didn't even break the tackle. Just spins awkwardly right into a big hit of fumble. Got to give a ton of credit to Von Miller. Look at that reaction from Joel. Oh, no. Good shot by the camera. Couldn't see. Play. I just saw number 58. I, I don't know if that was. Yeah, I assume it was Vaughn with a hit like that. He does also have Elvis Doomerville on his roster, but that awfully looked like Miller. That's good with no safety help over top. You need to be careful about giving up the big play here. All right, just get a sack. Skim's calling timeouts. He's trying to make Joel hunt the ball. Want that ball back. Yeah, Skim's up there yelling that he wants the ball back. Hands it off to Henry. Timeout number two. Yeah, look at that. Skim's rolling up his sleeves. There's blood in the water right now. Yeah. Skimbo's a savage. He, he, he's got that killer instinct. He smells that blood. He'll go after you. Careful with you, Joel. What a tackle. I'm a bad man. I'm a grown man. Doing that was Flowers man getting out there making the play. The I mean, uh, Rex. You know, it's going to be interesting. Here. Do you put Renfro back there or do you put Devin Hester? Hester. Hester. Been using mine. Renfro back there on Hester the punt returns. Mine. Hey, if Skim's using Renfro, it might be Renfro there. <laughs> I have a feeling he's done some research and whatever he's decided. That's going to be Renfro. Something he's got to like about him. Uh-oh. That'll be the final play of an entertaining first half. Skimbo able to battle back there in the second quarter to take a 17-6 lead off the scoop and score. And then between goes and spot me, 17-14 here at the half. Start of the third quarter here between Joel CP and Skimbo. Let's take a look at the conference standings here. We got an 11-point game. Young Kim on the top. Skimbo's tied with him. Blocky's right there. But you see Joel CP, if he can battle back here, he'd be in the top three. And then you see Spot Me Please down at seven. That's why that game against Goes is so important. Not used to seeing Spot Me Please below the line when it comes to competitive Madden. Tells you how stacked this elite conference is. 
Still so many things can change. Spot me could easily go on a winning streak. Change his fortune. It's Hester. Hester! It's Hester. He's getting free! Oh, Devin! He's getting over! 30! 20! On his horse! Touchdown, Hester in skim! That might have been the dagger. I know it's early. Oh, man, you want to talk about, you got a heated first half. You're talking trash. You're going back and forth. You know Joel's coming after you, trying to get some momentum. The greatest kick returner of all time. I would throw Gail Sayers up there as well. Two guys that played for the Chicago Bears. But Devin Hester from the U. Well, speed kills in Madden, Scott, and that's what 95 <laughs> speed looks like. So we got a lot of fireworks going down. Let's take a look at this return again. Untouched. Bar gets knocked out of the play. And remember, Skimbo has a history of returning kicks. He told us last year at the Madden Championship, he actually guaranteed that he was going to return some kicks. And did it on the big stage. And as he was doing it, he was yelling out to us, telling us, Scott and RG, I told you. So, By him and Problem, those are two things they share in common. Their special teams have been a difference. You got to bring it on all three phases of the, of the game, just like in real life. Yeah. Mariota sets its feet, rolls again. <laughs> Let's get a game update. It's wild in here. Wild indeed, guys. You got kick returns over there. We got kick returns right over here, Rico. Spot me answering back. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. Spot me up 21 17, four and a half left in the third. Well, they talk about needing it. Boy, did he need that one to start the half. When's the last time that's ever happened? Got double game, double return? Now that's the third time I've seen Spotty with Warfield return a kick on special teams. You, you got to take note of that. You got to be careful kicking off the Spotty, please, in this Ultimate League. That was nasty stick work he showed with the little stop and go with the steerable spin. If we were calling that play, I might have. that might have been it for me, Scott. <laughs> Could have been heart attack time. <laughs> a couple guys on reserve. In case you can't make it the rest of the way. You don't want to miss these games, RG. No, no. Even the sandwiches they brought out to wait. <laughs> now, if we put barbecue on hold, that tells you we're locked in. 24 to 6. Joel trying to fight back. He did it against Spot Me Please, but this is a different level against Skimbo right now. Oh, Almost a pick. Be careful reaction. throwing across the field. I really like those player cams, Scott. When we get to see some of their live reactions to these plays. Oh, they, they live and die on every play, RG. Some of that stuff's priceless. See some funny, funny reactions. Catch that emotion, too. It's, it's real for these guys, man. I think Blocky said it best. It's one of the things you're scared of is you put a lot of work in. A new Madden comes out every year. So you never know if you're going to be good again, you know, next year. You got to make the best with the skill set you have now. And it's all come down to this ultimate league. So every play could, could contribute to whether your season's going to go on or end by the time this season wraps up. Yeah, we've had absolute legends in the past kind of fade away. Sometimes it's hard to keep up with the meta. And there's the double box action as Joel. Facing a tough fourth and eight, it goes! Dia, come on! Gets in there for the score. And he's gonna take a three point lead. They're putting on a show over there, yeah, RG. That go spot me game is rocking right now. Skimming control over here against Joel, but goes and spot me. And again, when you get, we've seen it, Scott, when it's two guys that are familiar with each other, who play each other a lot, you're comfortable with what, what each other are doing, it comes down to execution. Those are some of the best games. It's either a stench fest or it's an absolute shootout. Oh, no. Skim. Oh, no. Spot me might take it again. again. Oh, this he's nasty. Wow. This is sad. He is getting it going on special teams. Go special teams need to hit the virtual weights. Give it up some big plays. Right outside of field goal range. 
eight to ten yards, depending on who you kick it. Right? Play action, Mariota drops back further, buying time. Playmakers up, B. He's going to come open. He throws it. Oh, boy. Pulls it in by Warfield. I thought that was going to hang no, up too long. No, no. And Renfro is going to come down. This is like some he needs to throw it right here. Look at this. This is like schoolyard football. Just running around, waiting for someone to get open, chuck it up. That was actually Ed Reed who was coming down. How about Mariota buying time? Cannon on that draw. And good defense right there by Ghost. On those draw plays, Scott, if you're blitzing and you send those linebackers, they, they won't bite on that draw stuff. And we'll get right in that backfield. But if you're in coverage, and you, if, you, if I run that draw and I catch you in coverage, I get a good chance of success. And that's why, you know, we talk about the run commit. Please never pass commit. Please. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. Second and 12. You end up giving up big gains on the delay. Yeah, it's only if you know they're pa if you know they're passing, it's fine. Yeah, you get a fourth and and then if you got forever. if you got a nickelback blitz coming, and you don't want them to ever bite on that play fake, then you pass commit. But like you said, in those early downs where you're not sure if they're running or passing, probably not a it good. It can be idea. just as detrimental as the run commit. In years where we set, I like to see that. It is, but there was years of Madden where you could just pass commit every down, every still kind down. of stop the run. Every down. And the defender's not biting on play action. Third and 12. Stuff cleaned up quite a bit. Julio. Go for it. All the way down go. to the eight. Go. Telling him to go. Look at that smirk <laughs> on the face of Spot Me. They're both familiar with each other, good friends. Play a lot of John Madden football online. That's what's cool about this too, Scott, is these spots can kick this field goal. You know, these guys, they all know each other. They don't have to hang out, you know, in the same room. But with online capabilities and Xbox Live parties, you know, they, they almost hang out daily. They're just not at the same place. You get to talk online. You get to play the game against each other. Technology nowadays, fantastic stuff. I remember when I first got Xbox Live. Not a good look. I, I think I. Hey, we get on the Xbox Live. Me, you, Chow, Donnie. Well, I'm talking about when I first got it, and I was in high school. I, yeah. I, 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 Blew your I, mind. I think sick for like the first <laughs> four days when I got that day. I was not trying to go anywhere but lock in. That's what Michael Scott said on the office when YouTube ball, came baby, out. Ball. It didn't work for a week. Yeah, my mom eventually, Mama RG eventually put an end to all that, but. Put on Academy Award performance not to go to school those first few days. I had a leaderboard decline. RG Streep. 24-24. Oh, Gary Reed. I'm telling you, ghosts is they live and die by that corner strike corner route, that C route. Or the corner on the bunch side. And Sometimes it's it's a huge part and huge weapon in their offense, but sometimes it's a detriment. You blindly throw that picked off. Big second and ten. Tries to check it down to Herschel. Fighting through. Over here in the red zone, Joel CP and a walk in with Henry. Oh, this that one's not over. Joel, I think he has to go for two here. <laughs> No, he's just going to kick kick the yeah, one. Don't chase it, the points yeah, yeah, yet. Don't chase the points. Sorry, I, I didn't realize. It's now only a one possession ball game. We got action everywhere now. And you heard Joel earlier this season. He's a fighter. He's not going to give up. Give me that. Let's go. And it's a hey. pick. Woo. Spot me talking. That's a rarity. It's a give me that. Get over here. It's like the nice trash talk. Oh, give me that. Let's go. <laughs> Such a nice guy, but he, he's a competitor, man. And spot me, he's in a desperate situation right now. We talked about it. He's under the line, wouldn't make the playoffs. He's not okay with that. He looked at me when I saw him today. He said, Today's going to be a good day of Madden football for me, RG. Yeah, we're talking golf about moving day on a Saturday. We're getting to that point of the season. These guys got to start making some moves. Oh, no. no. Oh, Pick six. Give me a back. Mariona, he's not going to get there. Touchdown. 
Oh, oh man, rare mistake from Spot Me. The corner route looked open. Finally throws it off his back foot to the drag and goes all over it. I'm just putting this out there right now. The best secondary player in the game is Mel Renfro. I'm done taking it. Renfro's all over the place. Special teams. You could go up and get that that Deion Sanders. You know, that's that is all kind of cap to do that. Mel Renfro, best bang for your buck in the secondary. It makes a huge play there near the end of the third. I believe he's six foot one. Decent speed, good zone coverage. Can hit. Can hit. Do it on special teams if you need him to. Now spot me. Was in control. After the interception, then he throws one himself and will head to the fourth quarter. 31 to 24. They've combined for 55 points. And they're not done yet, folks. We still got five minutes left in that one in a seven-point game. And Joel C. P's come roaring back a little bit. It's one possession now, 24 to 16. Skimbo still with the lead. Start of the fourth quarter, 31 to 24. And we talked about spot me, please, on the bubble. There he is currently down in seventh. But a win here would push him up over Prodigy. And he'd have the tiebreaker versus Goes. And look in the archives. I can't remember what Joel CP and Joel CP did win that game over Spot Me. So he has the tiebreaker there. These guys are still talking. They're loving it. I'm telling you, when Ghost gets you up there, he's such a nice guy. He's talking his – he did the same thing with Skimbo. It's like he's your shrink he's trying to get you to open up. He's casual conversation. You got a game to play up there, Spot. One, one. 36, 36. There he goes. Now you'll see Ghost locked in as soon as it's game time. It's all pleasantries between quarters. You got to be careful with that friendly stuff. I mean, you know, obviously you don't want to hate anybody when we're playing a video game and all that, but you're still competing. Come on. What's stop? You can't take your foot off the gas. You know, they tell you in wartime, no fraternizing with the enemy. Exactly. Third and 16. Some people are built to do it, and some people aren't. So, I think... Larry Bird said it well with, with him and Magic Johnson. He said Magic was the type of player. He could come up what's to you up? before the game, <laughs> give you a hug, say what's up, and then still go out and drop 40. Bird said, uh-uh. Like, for me to go out and drop that. 40, I, I didn't want to do nothing. I didn't want to hear nothing from you. I didn't want to talk to you. Larry Legend. I was more of a Larry Bird type. If I was competing against you, get away from me. I really, I really didn't have a favorite between those two. Started off with Dr. J. Of course, made my way to Jordan, and it was over from there. I don't want to hear any. I don't want to hear any Kobe. I don't want to hear LeBron. Growing about it. Growing up in Boston, you, you, no one's allowed to say a bad thing about the legend. Nice throw there by Spot. Me trailing by a touchdown. New set of downs at the 49. After throwing a pick six to, to goes. And Renfro, that was just uncharacteristic by Spot Me to, to throw a pass like that. Yeah, this is a blatantly bad read. He knew it right when he threw it. And it happens to the best of us. We, we you see it from the best players. And, and Madden, it's a game of those inches and split-second decisions. And every now and then, you're going to make that wrong split-second decision. It's going to happen. The question is, how do you bounce back after you do something like that? Doesn't get a block. Gets hammered. There comes Brown. This is a defining game for spot me season. Ran a guy in motion. And he, he need, blocked I, nobody. I feel like he needs to find a way to come back and win this one, Scott. He's going to put himself in an awkward situation. B is wide open. Nice find. There goes Warfield. Because remember, this is cross divisional right now. He plays in the toughest division. You lose here, then all of a sudden you got Skim again, you got Kim again, and Stevie J. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, no, exactly. First and 10 at the 26. I think this is a huge game for Spot. And 
Jones able to drag his feet. We're in the red zone down to the 14. Double box action. Double red zone. Good Joel. Continuing to fight. Yeah, one possession game has the ball on skim 16. Gets skimmed to jump as well, so that's going to be a first and five at the 11. First and 10 at the 14 over here on the left. Joel ties this game. Game, he might spike the controller. You know he, he's going to explode if he makes this comeback. Skimbo had a huge lead. So oh. and goes has just been trading blows. I always wanted to do that, Scott. Score the game winning touchdown last <laughs> second and spike the controller. Not a rage for spike. Parts right everywhere. A Gronk spike on the controller. Got B buttons flying into the crowd. There he goes. Down to the three now, first and goal. Both of these guys trying to tie this game. Spot me. She got tripped up at the 12. And this is action in the double box right now, Scott. Still have three timeouts here, but I think it's... Here comes Joel. Full down territory for both, and Joel's going to have a two-point conversion coming up to tie it. That's oh. big, and now you got the big third down on spot me. The action don't stop. On the left side, scrambling, throwing. Stop it! Touchdown, spot me! Wow. And we're rocking, and now here comes the two-point. No time to catch your breath. Quick drop. What do you got, Joel? Looking, no one's open. Oh, no. Huge by Skimbo. Oh. Got it, gets in there. And we are tied on the left. Oh, man, if the double box was ever popping, that sequence of events. Double box was rocking right there. Oh, my goodness. Almost breaking free at the 36 with Skimbo. Two forty-four to go. It came down to that two-point conversion. Joel needed it. Was unable to get it. So the lead is now two. Skimbo doesn't have a running attack. He's going to have to throw it short. Let's take a look at this again, RG. This two-point conversion, just nothing there. Oh, the quick slant look there. He Ooh, threw a high ball. It would have been a high point to the back. I saw that come open on the top of the screen. Missed read. It's done now. Now you, you draw, you gotta play some defense. Gotta lock up. Walker, gotta stay in bounds, does it? Skim, this is awkward for you too. You're only up two points. You don't wanna get yourself in the fourth down, get stopped. Joel's already in your territory, can kill the clock, try to kick a game winning field goal. Big play. I think it's first to 25. The situation for Skim here. I think Skimbo needs points. Definitely needs first down. Steps up and throws oh a goodness, dart. Oh my goodness, what a dart. To Hester. Oh, that was a big time throw, Coltrane. He just eight of 15, but stepped up. And it was a laser beam. On the run, looked like he was going to scramble. Let's it rip before he passes the line of scrimmage. Throws the receiver open. That was a big clutch play by Mike Skimbo. Double box action. 145 to go on the left. Goes has worked his way down there. Both with still three timeouts. Remember, any type of game winning field goal for Ghost is always interesting. Hands it to Walker. First timeout from Spotney. Be a second and nine over there. Got a sack over here on the right. That'll make it a second and 11. Joel has two timeouts. Amazing how similar the situations are. Goes trying to win it. Skimbo trying to hold on. Can't have a bad read here. Can't take a sack either. That pushes them back to the 37, a loss of 12. Third and 21 for Goes. What the what? Skimbo's game, he's gonna try to manage that clock over there. Pick up a first down, get Joel out of his timeouts. To be able to end this game. Can't take a sack here if he goes. Joel on the right uses his second timeout. It's third and eight over there. Mariota! Oh boy, he was so lucky that he 
You love me. What is it? Now Ghost is going to have. Oh, boy. I don't want to have flashbacks here as Skim throws an absolute dippity dot again. <laughs> mean mugs us. Hey, man, I'm just calling the game. Don't look at me like well, that. Why you got to mean mug us, Skim? Yeah. What, what do we do? 31 31 over on the left. He's going for it. Doesn't have confidence in a 54 yarder. That would be max range. And he throws it up for grabs, and Spotby picks it off. Renfro's going to have it at the 21. What a game. Come on, game. If you're Spotby, though, you still need to put it together on offense here. Can't make a bad read. Skim's bending the knee. I'm trying to do the math here. He's going to be able to bleed a majority of that clock. McKinnon Woo! over on the left. We're close to going full screen. Just seeing what Skim can do on the right to eke out these final few seconds. So he's going to take a knee, and then he'll kick the field goal. Do you kick the field goal? Oh, wow, he's, he's wasting time. Wasting he's time. getting silly. And he's going to just punt. Madden guy move on the right by Skimbo. He's going to go max protect punt. Biblical clock management by Michael Skimbo. <laughs> we talked yeah. about oh, oh, no. it. Oh, no. It goes to the it. Wow. Oh, my goodness. We almost tore the desk down over here. We almost kicked it down. And I'm winning. That was a huge play by Ghost. There's the sky punt. Joel will have to return it, and he's going to. That's over. Not be able to make the comeback on Skimbo. Two point win over there. No time to catch your breath. Ghost comes up with a big fumble. He's got it at the 32. It's a 49 yarder from there, second and eight. Oh, man. Spot me down in the dumps, the bottom of the standings. Looking to make a prolific drive, and goes, clicks on, punches him in the mouth. Fumble recovery, Amos, look at the reaction, Hassan's fall. Still at the 32. Needs a field goal to win. Remember, only I'm that. Just, I'm just going to put it out there, the 16 guys in the conference, he's, he's the worst kicker. He's got to prove me wrong here. Oh, boy. <laughs> Spot me's out of timeouts. Ghost is going to take a timeout. He's going to let this clock wind down. He's coming out just looking. He, he's just surveying the scene right now. Why, why, would, why would you wait to take a timeout there? you got to run it a little longer. He's going to run a play. Yeah, he definitely could have killed some more clock. But it doesn't matter. As long as he got it down to the 29-second mark, he can run the ball here, okay, milk it well, down to yeah. one, and call the timeout. His math so. is better than ours. That was fine. Just can't fumble or anything here. You got to be careful. You got to run, commit. And he got a yard. Oh, no. 48 yarder that might make it really, really tough for Spot Me to have an opportunity to make the playoffs. It's going to be really tough. His schedule is a grind from here on out. Needed this game over goes. Man. Here comes the timeout, RG. He's got to be feeling the pressure. Usa. He shanked these before, but he's been good lately. This is a 48-yarder to win the game. Got the power. That's good. As long as it doesn't get blocked, it should be good. And the kick is up, and Goes has won a game with a field goal. Wow. Show of respect right there, but that's a devastating loss for Taylor Robertson, a.k.a. Spot Me, please. Gets the George W. 34 to, to 31 over Spot Me, please. And then Skimbo, 24-22, able to hold off Joel CP. I'm telling you, I don't know how many more of these games we can have. I don't know if we're going to make it. We need... This is why we need better calisthenics. I'm ready. For, I want more. Let's go down to Andrea Lawrence, who's standing by with Goes.
Ghost, that was an incredible finish. 31-31 in the fourth, and that late 48-yard field goal, incredible. How do you rate your performance? Uh, I played really bad. He played really good. He outplayed me. I got lucky at the end. I got a fumble. Um, he played good. He he didn't use he didn't use he didn't run his usual defense on me. It threw me off. And in terms of spot me, have you guys played a lot? A bunch, a bunch, and we go back and forth. So I knew it was going to be high scoring. I knew it was going to be a a really good game, and I came out on top. I got lucky though. <laughs> But overall, in terms of your performance moving forward, what are you going to do to change since you said you were not pleased here? I just got to be more patient. I was trying to deep bomb him way too much. I just got to take my check downs, and I'll be okay. And is there anybody you look forward to playing in the rest of the season? Nah, I'm, I'm just trying to make the playoffs. All right. Well, best of luck to you. To you, Dave Enrico.